Hey guys, Lethal Leslie here, and today we're going to be doing the best loadout you can get to take down a horde in Days Gone. So how it's going to work is we're going to be doing two loadouts overall. One is going to be an early game loadout, one is going to be a late game loadout, very late game. So if you're looking for the early game, you're in the right place at the start of the video. If not, I'll put a little timestamp or something to tell you where to skip to in the video, so that if you're looking for the late game loadout, that's where you need to go. With that being said, let's jump into it with our first loadout. So for the early game loadout, we're going to be going to Hot Springs. We're going to build it basically from this camp. This is the second camp you're going to come across, and as you can see, I do have Trust Level 3. So let's see what weapons are available. So let's start with the primary, and the first weapon we're going to get is the MWS. This actually has a bigger cartridge at 30 than other guns you can get early in the game and that's the reason I suggest picking it up it can also carry quite a lot of ammo in reserve in comparison to the other early game guns you pick up so if you can pick this up this is going to be our primary for taking down hordes early in the game so let's equip that now as for the sidearm there isn't really much option you have a pistol and you have a little stubby shotgun personally I'm going to take the shotgun just to try and get any stragglers that do get close to me while I'm running away from the horde but really, the sidearm isn't going to come into play very often when we're trying to take down a horde. So let's pick up the stubby and move on to the special. So the MG45 is going to be our special choice. Now, this is a level 3 truss weapon. And it's really hard to get... Well, not really hard, but it's really grafty if you want to get level 3 in a camp early on in the game. So obviously, this is available early on. But it's also hard to get because it will take you a few hours of grafting, I imagine, to do it. So you do have another option. This can be found around the open world early in the game so I suggest you pick it up if you see it and that'll be the loadout there you'll have it for as long as you need it then obviously if you do drop it you won't be able to pick it up again from your locker because that's not the way it works when you find a weapon you do need to purchase it for it to be in your locker but this is definitely going to be the main factor in taking down hordes early in my opinion so if you don't have this it kind of throws the whole early loadout out the window but I suggest you go and find it do a few missions it won't be too long before you see someone with this weapon so those are going to be the three early weapons we pick up the MWS the little stubby and the MG45 as you can see I have got the extended mag so if you have grinded to trust level three here you'll want to go and buy the extended mag which gives this a huge a huge 95 mag and that's up from 55, so that's like 40 more bullets you're going to have in the magazine, which is awesome. So let's go and try this build out on a horde. So as we approach the horde, I do want to say a few things, obviously, that make a massive difference to me. I have every single skill for starters, which also boosts, like, everything in combat, really. I obviously have a lot of Nunu injections, which give me a lot of stamina and things like that. So, you know, those things are going to make a difference for me when I'm fighting a horde than it will for you. Um, and the way you can kind of counter that is by making sure that you have all the craftables you can get. So any craftables or any pipe bombs you pick up early, even if you can't craft pipe bombs, make sure you save them for hordes if you want to go ahead and kill hordes early. That's totally up to you if you want to kill hordes early as well. It just depends what kind of things you want to do in the game, of course. Um, so yeah, make sure you've got molotovs, but don't make sure you've just got enough to craft. Make sure you've crafted everything and then loot again so that you can craft mid-battle. That's quite important. So... You can slow down the game, obviously, by pressing um, L1. So then you can go ahead and craft whatever you need to. Same goes for the medical. Make sure you've got all the bandages you can craft as well as more craftable items and things like that. That's going to help you a lot. Anyway, that's enough for talking. Let's go ahead and fight our first horde. All right, we're approaching the horde. Now you can see it's relatively big, guys. I'm only going to use stuff I think I would have early on. So I'll use Molotov cocktails to get it started and pipe bombs and things like that. And the gun you're going to want to use mainly is going to be the MG45, I would say. We'll get them early here while we get the chance. It's quite a big haul, this, by the looks of things. It might be quite a long battle. Who knows? Oh, wow. This horde is... I'm not sure if I've already fought this horde. This didn't look like there's much in here, actually. I thought it was a lot more when I first looked at it, but now it's starting to look like a really small horde, so. Well, that wasn't that wasn't a very big horde, guys. That wasn't a very big horde at all. We've gone ahead and completed that one. 
Uh, yeah, so there you go. That one's completed. I'm not really going to go and fight another horde. That will do for this one. Hopefully, we can find a far bigger horde for the end game build, which we're going to go ahead and build right now. So we're about to jump into the late game build for taking down hordes. Before we do that, I just want to mention, obviously there's going to be stuff that I say in this part of the video that you may not have seen yet if you are early game. So definitely don't watch it if you don't want any spoilers. That's all I'm going to say. Let's get into it. So for the late game build, you can see we are in Wizards Island. This is the last camp you are going to have access to, and we do have level 3 trust. So let's go and pick out our weapons for the super horde killing build. The nice thing about the end game build is you're only going to need trust level 2 in this particular camp to get the weapons we need to have the best build, in my opinion, for taking down the hordes. So let's get straight into it anyway, and we're going to be starting off with our primary. And there is no other choice, in my opinion, when it comes to taking down a horde than the Chicago Chopper. As you can see, I've got the extended mag, and it has a mag of 80 with the extended mag, a mag of 55 without. So even without, it's the best choice, but with, it just gives it that extra boost up to 80, which is just insane amount of bullets before needing to reload. And that's why this is an unrivaled choice when it comes to taking down hordes as your primary. Moving on to the sidearm, and we won't actually be getting the sidearm from here, so we're going to need to go to the locker. So we'll move over to the locker, and the sidearm we're going to be picking out is going to be the SMP9 level 4 with the extended mag. So we get 50 bullets in that as well, and you get plenty of ammo in reserve. So I'm not sure where you get this, whether it be a mission or whether it be from one of the other camps. Something tells me it's by finishing a mission. So unfortunately, I can't remember exactly where it's from, guys. But this is obviously an end game build, a very end game build. So the mission has been done to get it if it is from a mission. And if not, I suggest you go ahead and use the best version of this weapon you can get if you don't actually have this one yet. Moving back over to the weapon section and our special option is going to be the RPD with the extended mag of course, which gives us a mag of 105 bullets, which is just phenomenal. This gun is unrivaled by any in my opinion. It's one shot in loads of enemies. It's just my favorite weapon for taking down hordes. It's, it just mows them down. So I suggest you pick this up as soon as you can get your hands on it. Like I said, you only need level two on trust, so it shouldn't be too hard to get your hands on. And before you head out to kill any horde, you're going to want to make sure your saddlebag ammo is full. So that's a must, as well as picking up any med kits and definitely frag grenades that you can. So that will be our loadout. Let's head out now to find a horde and test these weapons. So when approaching the horde here, guys, as you can see with this build out, you literally have like 700, 800 bullets. So you really don't need any of the special items, to be honest, but it's always best to bring them. I really have not come prepared for this in that respect. I haven't gone out and found the items, but it's probably best to go ahead and bring them if you do want to take down a horde, especially if you know it's a particularly big one. So anyway, let's get stuck into this horde here. Again, I don't know how many is in here. I'm hoping it's going to be a lot better than the last one, but we'll have to wait and see because we're just going to start mowing them down straight away, guys. Well, wow, this looks significantly bigger than the last one. And now the Screamer has literally just depleted all my stamina. And that could be me gone. One thing I do actually have, which is stamina cocktails. So we're going to go ahead and blast one of them just to stay alive here at this point. Now, this is a horde worth its salt, guys. This is a horde definitely worth its salt. We always load on the move. It's always best to load whilst you're running. If you have that skill again, this is all stuff from the skill tree, obviously. It's a dead end down there, so whatever you do, do not run down there. Don't tell me it's a dead end down here, otherwise I am screwed. No, it does go into the tunnel, which is nice. Well, there's still a few of them alive. Let's go and see who, what we can find. I'm going a little bit quiet when I'm focusing here. Sometimes you've got to focus when you're taking down a horde. I'm sure you guys understand that. There they go. They're all trekking back to their home now. Not on my watch. Let's hit them with a few frag grenades because you de these are definitely the best grenades you're going to get. You can never craft these as well, so you've always got to buy them. Luxury item. <laughs> There we go. We'll load up our weapons before they start chasing us again. Oh, dead end. I'll tell you one thing you want to use as well. Is your roll is always good to getting out of trouble. We have about 95 bullets left in this one. And we've basically taken this horde out with a few frags and bullets only so far. 
And this is a big horde. This is a really big horde. Oh, he's still alive, him. We'll give him an axe. All right, there we go. Surely we can take out these last few now with this. Surely. Is this the last guy? No, still not the last guy. Is this going to be the last guy now? Nope. Is this horde respawning? This horde is respawning. What is going on? So I went and got more ammo and I come back. And to be honest, I think maybe it was just one huge horde. And they might have come from the back of the um, tunnel there. So we'll go and check how deep the tunnel is in a second now. But yeah, I am definitely thinking that it was possibly just me that didn't kill them all for the first time round. Let's head back to the train. This time we're going right to the back. We're not letting them... If they're, if they're in the back here, they're not getting away from us this time. We're just going to see how deep this thing goes. Because I think... There was a good chance it was just because... Of, oh, why did he not show up then? Why did he not show up for me? There we go. It was just a huge horde. That was the reason. I really thought they all spawned back on me there. They didn't spawn back. That is the horde. Those are the guns. That is the best loadout for taking them out. I'm going to leave the video there, guys. If you liked the video, like the video. Subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks for watching, as always. And take it easy. Secret ending to the video here. For taking down that horde, I don't know whether it's that horde specifically or what. We actually got an MG55 weapon. So, you know, we might we might have to revisit this and check out this weapon in a later vid or something like that. Who knows? I do like doing all the loadout stuff. So, we'll see. We found ourselves another like big capacity weapon by the looks of things big bullet capacity so maybe this is going to be the mvp for all the guns we'll have to wait and see